Hey everyone. Um, sorry, we're a little bit late. Uh, we're going to get started in um, just a couple of minutes. Um, just want to make sure that everybody can hear me. So if you can hear me, if you can see the slides, if you just put one in the chat box just to let me know you can see it all. Hey, Kevin. Can you hear me all right? Cool. Excellent. Okay. So let me just open up these slides here so we've got um we've got a bunch of slides here to show you tonight and then myself and trevor are gonna just jump on live and just have a chat so yeah i can see that there's a ton of you in tonight and uh yeah i, I have been known to get these things wrong so if, if i uh mess the slides up or mess the webinar up or anything like that you'll have to forgive me because uh this isn't kind of something i do all the time but uh let me just um, drop Facebook a minute. Cool. Okay. So my name's Mark Bishop. You probably know that already, but um, this is me here, uh, the guy with the glasses on. And um, yeah, I used to be a plumber here in the UK. And <laughs> excellent. So yeah, 658,000, well, say 666,000 almost, give or take a dollar. Um, and that was in a year. And um, I'm going to explain the um the steps that allowed me to actually do that over the last year so i've made a lot more than that but you know in the last year nearly six hundred and sixty six thousand. okay so it sounds crazy uh, but i'm going to show you the proof and i'm going to show you how i actually did that okay so great um ireland so you're on the same time as us and kevin um i, I guess there's uh bunch of people in here that are probably in the US. So what time is it there? Around about four o'clock, is it? Four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, so like I say, there's myself and there's Trevor on this call. And uh, we probably will mess it up. But um, Trevor, are you there? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, this is this is quite nerve wracking, you know, because there's, um, there's hundreds of people on this call. <laughs> Yeah, polished. I'm not sure about polished. Seriously, <laughs> we'll, we'll probably um, make a pig's ear of it, but you know, you'll get the message anyway, and hopefully, it'll sort of give you some. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So at least you'll know that you're getting this live. Anyway, so um, I guess at this point, you know, it might be great to um, to actually grab some paper, uh, pencil, pen, something like that, just to actually uh, take some notes. Okay, because. You know what I'm going to explain on this um, on this call is something that you can actually use. Thanks, Kev. <laughs> anyway, so grab your coffee, grab a beer, grab a piece of paper, and uh, grab a pen, and we'll get started. You ready, Trevor? It's it's, it's never too early for beer, but and uh, <laughs> how how long is the webinar? Well, you know we're kind of doing this live, so you know who knows. We'll try and keep it um, short and to the point, but you know we do tend to ramble a little bit. And uh, you know, if, if you want to ask questions, then you know just just shoot them. But can't really give you a time. Um, apologise for that, but we'll, we'll do our best. Yeah, it's it's beer time here, actually, Ken. You know, it's um, it's ten past nine in the evening here, so it's it's perfect for drinking beer. <laughs> anyway, so so let's get started. So. I'm just going to start off with a slide. So, um, you know, why are you here? It's kind of a silly, silly question. Guinness. Yeah, I was over in um, Dublin last year, Kevin. Yeah, lots of Guinness. But yeah, anyway, back to the slides. So why are you here and what do you want? Well, it's kind of a stupid question, really, because, uh, you know, you're here because you bought Pimper. OK, so you bought Pimper because you love the idea of uh, being able to buy um, a cheap product like Trevor did, uh, in his case, it was $5. And then, you know, flipping it into almost $9,000. Now, of course, you know, Trevor didn't do this overnight. It wasn't one of these uh, push button things. He didn't sort of buy it. And then the next day he made nearly $9,000. It doesn't work like this. What Trevor did is tantamount to a real business. And that's kind of what we're getting at here. I, I, you'd agree with that, Trevor, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, every bit, every bit. But, you know, what, what we're going to talk about in this call tonight is how to actually um, you kind of leverage um, your Pimper projects, anything at all, and build a sustainable business, which is exactly what I've done over the last uh, three or 
almost four years now, but it's something that anybody can can do. And I'll, I'll show you the proof of that as we go through these slides. But, you know, like I say, take notes because this is something that you can actually do. And if you are interested in building a real business, then, you know, pay attention to this. Is there any sound? Can everybody hear me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can everybody hear me? It's, um... Yeah. Or, or maybe, um, maybe um, reload, reboot. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So, on this call, we're essentially going to talk about real businesses, okay, uh, which is something that I've done, is something that Trevor's doing now, and it's something that absolutely anybody can do. So, you know, what Trevor's done there with Pimper, you know, buying a $5 product and then turning it into $9,000 is basically just a start. It's a starting point, and it's something that you can use as a foundation and you can scale upon. Um, and when you do that, you, you can keep doing it. So my question really is, you know, how much do you want to make? Now, I know you you kind of hear these uh, these phrases banded around all the time. And, you know, people say they make this and they make that. And it's kind of hard to believe it when somebody tells you that they make this much money online or they're making money while they sleep. <laughs> you know, that was one of the phrases that um, kind of inspired me to get into this business um, originally. And I know it's something that um, resonated with you as well, Trevor, isn't it? Yeah, there will be replays. There will be replays going out. So we're, and if you're registered for this, which, you know, if you're on here right now, obviously you will be, then you'll get um, a replay of this. <laughs> Leaky faucet. So you're you're obviously in the, um, the States there, Ken, because over here it would be called a tap. But, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a long time since I've done any plumbing, I've got to say. And I wasn't very good at it back then. It's, it's almost addictive. I, I have to say, uh, I mean, you know, I, I work with an awful lot of people. And, you know, when I got into this business, people told me, you make money where you sleep. Well, because I'm in the UK, same as Trevor, you know, we actually do because most of our customers come from the US. So you wake up in the morning, you know, PayPal uh, has just sent you you know, a ton of emails saying, yeah, you, you've made this and you've made this and you've made this. And it really it is a reality. And it's um, it's addictive to actually check your emails every morning. It's a crazy feeling. But believe me, it's very, very real. But anyway, let, let's get back to that question. So how, how much do you want to make online? So I want to show you a couple of slides. Now, this isn't to brag or to boast or anything like this. This is just to actually show you the proof of what I actually do, what I actually make. So you know that, you know, what I'm explaining to you on this call is a reality. So last year, he was just to um, tell Bishop to talk louder. How much louder can I speak? Can I... <laughs> I can't speak any louder. I'll wake my little girl up. Yeah. Okay. So um, last 12 months. So you can see here, this is an actual screenshot of my PayPal account. So 658,984. One year's um, PayPal. Uh, nearly, well, 660,000 almost, give or take. Last 90 days, 140,699. <laughs> PayPal fees. Yeah. But, you know, PayPal fees are high, but, um, <laughs> you know, it, it's not bad when you're making this kind of money. Every bit, every bit. And this one, well, everybody said they'd love to make a million. Well, you know, there's 1.1 million, and that's in the last three years. So, oh, really? Yeah, so this is all genuine, okay? So I, I know you're probably used to seeing sales pages, and you're used to seeing this and that. Anybody that doesn't believe what I'm showing here, you can ping me. I'll um, I'll do a live screen share with you. This is genuine. Um, you know, I'm a limited company based in the UK. I pay VAT, unfortunately. I have to pay my taxes. But, you know, these figures are lodged with companies' house. So, Trevor, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? <laughs> so, I've shown you this. Um, oh, there's another slide there. So obviously, if we've got um, we've got PayPal, and then the, there's other streams as well. So there's um, direct bank transfers. So these are kind of um, 
wire to my account so there's another 51,000 there but you know it's beside the point really what I'm getting at is um, just to show you that you can make an awful lot of money in this business you need Trump's accountant to pay no taxes <laughs> you know, thing is um, I've got a lot of colleagues that have got um, accounts based in Hong Kong and they've got accounts based here and there um, but it's always a bit dicey I mean I've got a, a young family in this country so um you know i like to be able to sleep at night i don't want somebody knocking on my door and saying you know you owe 100 grand in taxes and not be able to pay it so what if you don't have a paypal account um well essentially you're going to need one in this business uh it's, it's kind of something that we all rely on for good for bad it's something that we all need so david if you haven't got a paypal account right now and you want to be in business online i suggest you you get one pretty soon. Okay, so you can use Stripe, but really without PayPal, you're kind of up the creek without a paddle. So I've shown you those slides, not to brag. And I'm sure many of you are watching this now thinking, yeah, whatever. But it isn't because anybody can do this. And I just want to actually show you the proof. Yeah, it's going to be uh, recorded, James. So <laughs> showing you the proof. So this is me. So if you see me online, this is me about four years ago. So four years ago, I was a plumber here in the UK. And, you know, I will say I wasn't a great plumber, but, you know, I made ends meet. But doing that, I had to work, you know, around about 12 hours a day. And, you know, as I was getting older, it was harder and harder to do. And it wasn't really what I wanted to do anyway. I always wanted to, um, to actually make it online. I learned the younger now. Well, that was the stress of actually having a job that uh, was manual, having to get up at six o'clock every morning and then go out and uh, fit people's bathrooms. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I don't know if I, I look younger now. That's probably a bad picture. I'm a lot grayer now, but uh, yeah, not happier. Distinguished. Distinguished, yeah. Yeah, I've still got my hair, so I'm happy. But yeah. So that was my vehicle at the time. That was the only vehicle I had. <laughs> you can see, you know, it's a van. I needed it. Had to have it for my tools. Had to have it to get out to my plumbing job. Um, and I'm sure many of you watching this right now have a job as well. Yeah? Who has a job? Who's, who's sat here watching this right now that has a job that you absolutely hate? Yeah? White van man. <laughs> That's a British phrase. <laughs> yeah so I, I mean some of you are saying yeah but i already know that there's going to be a ton of you on here that uh, have a job that you hate or maybe you you don't even have a job and you, you know with a recession on it's a real struggle now for an awful lot of people and you know what they say you know job it stands for just over broke you have a job you pay those bills and what have you got left at the end of the month not much in most cases, it's not a lot of money left over. So you're just kind of selling your time, really. You're just selling your life away. But, you know, you can change that. I know it's easy for me to say right now, and you might think, yeah, yeah, I've seen all this BS before. <laughs> you know, seriously, you know, I bought this, I bought that, I bought this, and I'm still not making any money. And I, I kind of understand that. But the reality is you really, really can change. I did it and Trevor's doing it. So how do you actually do that? So you love love this business, but not enough money in it, Simon. Seriously? <laughs> ah, right. Okay. Love your business. Ah, right. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So you love your business, not enough money in it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm with you now. <laughs> okay. So... So the method, the method um, you, you probably gathered it's um, through being a digital vendor. And what that essentially means is to actually sell products online, digital products, because when you sell a digital product, it's not tangible. So you don't have to be um, popping over to China or um, contacting people in China to buy stock, to sell. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean e-com is huge at the moment, but um, for me, Having a digital product, something that I can sell as many times as I like without having to put 
any additional work in, then it's the best business model in the world. And I'm sure right now, Trevor, you'd agree, wouldn't you? That's right. Yeah. Even with even with the drop shipping option, um, so we're getting onto ecom here, and this isn't about ecom, but I just want to sort of cover this because you know I know ecom is quite big now. So even if you don't have that money to actually invest in stock right now, then you may have considered um, drop shipping. So drop shipping, you know, you sell the goods before you actually order them in, but. Even with that, you still run into an awful lot of issues. So uh, with AliExpress, for example, you know, I mean, you might find a supplier, you might list it, and then that supplier goes out of business or they're unreliable or something like that. And then you're kind of liable for those costs. So you've sold it, you've got to refund it, and then you've got those costs as well. Mike, um, refresh the page. Um, that's the best advice we can give you. Um, I know a couple of people say they can't hear, but uh, most people can. So there we go. So first dropshipping experiment, the supplier in China, something that goes to me in Ireland rather than the customer in the US. Yeah. So Kevin, you had to, um, you receive those goods and then you have to package them up and you have to send them out to your customer. And, you know, at the end of the day, you've pretty much lost money on that deal, on that transaction. So yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. So you're convinced, John, and, and now what? Well, <laughs> we're only just getting started, so let's let's keep going. Okay, so digital vendor selling digital products. These are untangible items. These are items that you can sell over and over again. And of course, this ties in beautifully with Pimper because what Trevor did is he took a digital product, a PLR product, and he pimped it into something of value that he could sell over and over again. So doing this, you've already seen a picture of my van, but you know, doing this allowed me to go from driving this four years ago to driving this today. And from living here, yeah, that was my house, to living here. And this is where I actually live today. So the product. Now, this is perfect for Pimper because if you're just starting out um, and you need to put a product together, it's very, very difficult to do. Um, you'll see a ton of products out there, um, how to do this, how to do that. But you know, if you don't have that experience and you're not making money, then using Trevor's method is the perfect avenue because those products already exist. So it's not like you're starting with a blank page in front of you. You have the foundation of a product which you can turn into real value and then sell just like Trevor did. So we all know, everybody here knows that Trevor took a $5 product. He spent some time on that product, he expanded it, and he turned that into nearly $9,000. So if you're starting from scratch, then my advice is not to reinvent the wheel. So a lot of people get into this business and they think, you know, I have to do something new, uh, something uh, pioneering, something completely different. But the reality is nearly everything has actually been done before. So what is make money? Um, MMO is make money online. Now, the reason, we're kind of jumping ahead a little bit here, but the reason uh, make money online works best is because you can cross over. So this is essentially one of the steps, uh, one of the steps I'm going to talk about. So keep it simple. Don't reinvent the wheel. One problem, one solution, and MMO works best. So don't reinvent the wheel. I've already touched on that. Basically, these products already exist. It's a case of finding them or using PLR and putting your own tweaks and your own spin on it and turning it into value, something that you can be proud of actually selling. And, you know, that may sound difficult, but, you know, Trevor, you're, you're there, aren't you? I mean, it's not difficult, is it? It's more about time than it is money. No, and I mean, you know, anybody that's watching this right now, I mean, you, you might be thinking, oh, I can't do that, I can't do that. Well, you know, you've seen me. I was a technophobe. I still am. You know, I'm struggling to keep this, this webinar going. You know, I always struggle with the technical aspect. All I knew was that I actually wanted to make money online because I didn't want to be a plumber anymore. I didn't want to be a plumber for the rest of my life. So all I had was a determination. 
I just wanted to do it. I knew I wanted to do it. And I knew I had to apply myself. So I was a plumber. And then I've gone from being a plumber to actually doing this. And you've seen how much money I've made. You know, I've made over a million dollars doing this very thing. So don't reinvent the wheel. You can either use PLR, you can repurpose it, you can extend on it, you can turn it into um, a product of value, which Trevor did, or you can find products that are on sale right now and you can, um, you can use those as a foundation. I don't mean actually copy them, but just use them as inspiration for your own product. Keep it simple because people really do like simple methods. They don't like um, long, drawn-out things, which will, you know, probably take them, uh, you know, four or five hours to get through. If you can show somebody how to do something in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, anything, you know, inside an hour, it's going to work really, really well. So the theory, theory type products work or do they? Well, theory products do not work as well as a case study based product so let's just assume that you um you found a couple of products maybe you've probably got a ton of products um, larry so you found a couple of them take a couple of the products you've got and apply them apply them on a really small scale and if you get any results scale up a little bit get some case studies together and put your own tweaks and spins on those particular methods and when you do that, then you essentially have your own product. But, you know, my advice is to keep it really, really simple. And if you do buy something and it doesn't work exactly the way you thought it would pan out. So if the, um, if the vendor said, you know, use this traffic um, source and that doesn't work for you, that doesn't mean the actual method doesn't work. It just means that, you know, when the vendor did it, he may have um, used a different ad. Um, his style might have been slightly different his graphics may have been slightly different um any of those reasons can factor but just think outside the box so if one traffic source doesn't work for example then try a different traffic source i mean essentially that's putting your own spin on it it is it is and it's something that anybody can do i mean you know it's probably you're probably thinking you know oh that's easy for them to say but you know I've been doing this for getting on for four years, but you know, Trevor has essentially just started off in this business and uh, he's already making money. And we'll cover a little bit more about that in, in just a minute. But uh, so yeah, one problem, one solution. Again, this is about keeping it simple. So if you can tell somebody how to do one thing or achieve one thing, then they're going to be happier with that than they are if you tell them, well, here's a bunch of things and you can learn this and this and this because it'll just put people off. So keep it simple, one problem, one solution. And um, just before we answer any more questions, um, make money online works best. It's a cliche, but it does because an awful lot of people in this business, you know, they all have lists of people that are interested in making money online. I mean, you're here tonight you're watching this um, this call because you're interested in making money online and of course you can do that but people tend to have lists based around MMO and that means that you can kind of cross promote and it also means you can use leverage which we'll get to in just a second okay as if by magic leverage so what is leverage well leverage is essentially um, being seen in the right circles that's kind of where it starts. So the end goal is to have people um, recognize you, be aware of you, and be willing to uh, potentially partner with you or promote your launch. But it all starts at the very, very beginning. And this is something that nobody really gets. So John, newbies need to know where to start. Well, you know, I'm getting to that. So for me, everything starts with leverage so if you're interested in making money online and getting into the i am business as it's phrased then you need to build your profile okay so you need to build a profile in order to use leverage and it's it's really really simple to do now this is perhaps more important than actually putting your product together so even if you have no idea what product you want to launch if you haven't even looked at PLI yet then I would suggest that you start building your profile. And when you do that, if you keep doing it, then when you actually come to launch your pimped product or your product from scratch, whatever it may be, 
then you'll be able to apply leverage, which is essentially what we do. So how do you actually build your profile? Well, it's something, like I say, it's something that can be done really, really easily. It's just been seen in the right circles. So what you need to do is you need to um, join a bunch of Facebook uh, launch groups. There's a ton of them, you know. It'll take you about five minutes to find um, 50 or so. When you say, Trevor, tons of them out there. Yeah, you need to do that. And you need to actually um, kind of connect. But I don't mean sort of like sending, um, you know, be my friend requests, that sort of thing. I just mean little posts, questions, likes, that sort of thing. And try to do those in and around actual launch posts. So uh, I'm sure you've all seen it is. It is. I mean, you you might not be. You're obviously not going to be supporting those um, those launches. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy to do this stuff. So a great way of doing it is to um, is to pop over to say Warrior Plus or JVZoo and look at leaderboards, and then try to work out who those guys are on Facebook. When you can do that, you'll you'll see the launch posts. And, you know, as soon as anybody's launching, they'll put up there and, and you'll see all the um, all the people that are connected. And you've got to just like those posts, comment, that kind of thing. It, it's really, really easy to do. And what I what I recommend to um, the people that I work with is they do that for 10 minutes a day, regardless of whether they got a product right now. So that's step two. OK, so when you do this, when you do it well and when you keep doing it, people will actually become aware of you. Even if you've never launched a product, they'll become aware of you. So when you actually get to that point where you're ready to launch a product or you're looking for help or support, then you can use leverage because people will know who you are. They may not know why they know who you are, but they will be aware of you. And it's something that you can use. Uh, this brother really about just to, to, to like and to find and put a thumbs up and that sort of thing. You know, it, it just, um, it... yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, with, with Pimper, I mean, uh, Trevor was actually able to take that $5 product. I mean, yeah, he put that work into it. And everybody here knows that you have to put some work into actually pimping those products and getting them um, to a point where they're, you know, they're far removed from that original $5 product, their actual value that you can sell. But in order to sell them, yeah, you, you can soft launch them, as Trevor kind of explained in Pimper. But, you know, for that big money, if you want that big money, then, you know, consider leverage. What Trevor did was he partnered with somebody um, to actually get his product out there, get that exposure. And p if people are aware of you, then they're going to be more inclined to actually look at a potential partnership. Okay. So, seems pretty simple so far. <laughs> well, it essentially it is a very simple business model, but you know, it does take time. So what I'm sort of hinting at here is anybody that's watching this, I'm, I'm not going to say you're going to do this overnight. Okay. So it does take time. It's not about the money. You don't have to invest loads of cash into this business model. Um, you know, when I started, I didn't have um, a lot in additional funds. You know, I was working uh, just to make ends meet. But I did this uh, in my part part time. And, um, you know, I didn't invest an awful lot into it at the beginning. Um, I just spent a long, long time putting it together. Um, you wouldn't have to spend that amount of time. But, uh, you know, for me, it was just just the time. And for anybody interested in this business model, yeah, it's more about the time than it is money. OK, so let me give you an example of how leverage works. So let's say, for example, you're selling a product for thirty seven dollars. So the product sells for thirty seven dollars. And um, an average marketer, say, has a list of 10,000 buyers. Now, their average conversion is 1%. Okay, and, and that's kind of on the low side, but, you know, if, if you say 1%. So if you average a list of, say, 10 marketers, you'll sell an average of 1,000 products. So that's 1,000 times 37, $37,000. Minus, of course, the 50% commission that you'll pay that affiliate so you're left with a net profit of eighteen thousand five hundred dollars 
Yeah, of, of course, the, um, the money is in the list. The money is always in the list. Yeah, oh, I, I'm, I'm, replying, I'm replying to you now, Trevor. <laughs> yeah, the money is in the list. But, you know, when you, when you launch a product, you know, as, as well as making money, then um, obviously you get the list as well. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, nobody, nobody has a list to begin with. I mean, you know, everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of people sort of, um, they, they come onto these calls or they buy products and they say, yeah, it's easy for them because they've got a great big list. But, you know, that list didn't fall out of the sky. You launch a product, you make money, you get a list. And then from that list, you reciprocate, you promote other products, you make more money. And then you launch another product and so forth. And it, it, it's just like, um, it's just a stairway. You know, you, you make more, you build a bigger list each time you do it until you get to the point where, you know, as I've shown you over the last three years, I've made over a million dollars doing this. So I've shown you um, probably uh, a best case starting off $37, probably going to be a JBZ product, but let's look at um, low ticket. So let's say that you sell your product. So say, for example, you, um, you buy a product for $5, like Pimper's um, kind of teaching you to do, and then you turn it into something of value, and then you, you build some sort of upsells using, um, you know, elements of, of the training that you, you kind of expand on. But you sell that front end for $7. It doesn't sound like a lot, does it? But that is just a front end product. So a front end product, what does it actually do? Well, it encourages people to actually purchase. And by doing so, then they go through what's called like a micro commitment. So they're interested in that product. And once they're interested in that product, even if they've only spent $7, then they're gonna be more inclined to actually buy additional products from you. So what qualifies them as buyers? Well, they, they actually uh, buy your product can. There are softwares that can produce thousands of subscribers. With, yeah, but Bob, with respect, that kind of thing, it's not great. You know, you, you can get, um, I can put up some landing pages and get, you know, a couple of hundred um, free subscribers tomorrow, but those aren't buyer subscribers. So the chances are they're just tire kickers, complete waste of your time. So anyway, back to this. Yeah, the thing is about this call, you know, I mean, there are loads of hacks out there. There's loads of softwares that will do this. There's loads of hacks that will do that. But what I'm trying to get across here is this can be a real business. So if you're looking for a quick hat, something that will make you $20 um, and then disappear next month, that's fine. But that isn't what this call's about. Okay, so there may be a software out there that can get you uh, 200 uh, email subscribers in the next five or 10 minutes. But, you know, believe me, it's, it's just going to be a pile of junk. Okay, so... $7 products, it sounds, sounds ridiculous, $7 products. So what happens is you put products behind there. So, you know, I've seen several people mention upsells, and this is kind of what happens. So the $7 product, you're basically giving it away. But behind that product, you have a funnel. Now, like them or loathe them, if you're in this business, this is kind of how it works. So people jump in seven dollars and you give them quality or at least in our case we do at least i hope everybody agrees that we do um you know i happen to think, I happen to think that pimper was a fantastic product you know real training given away for seven dollars and I'm, I'm pretty sure and i know an awful lot of people have told me that this was like a over delivering on a grand scale i'm sure not everybody agrees you know you, you can't please everybody but you know we did what we could here um and we wanted to put out a quality product, even though it was very, very cheap. And, you know, if you've been through it, I'm sure you'd be the first to um, to tell uh, Trevor that he's done a, a fantastic job there. But anyway, back to this slide. So $7 product on the front end, good quality one, but $7 product. And you give away 100% of commission. Now, again, that sounds crazy to anybody that's uh, not... Uh, kind of not in this business, doesn't kind of understand it, just sees it from the outside. But yeah, so $7, and then you give it all away. So 
everything that Trevor made on um, on Pimper front end, and just give it away. However, from there, there are upsells. What's this? Isn't it scammy? Why is it scammy? No, no, no. The way we, way we do it, and I mean, you know, a lot of people hate upsells, but let, let me give you, um, let, me, let me just put this to you. So if we put everything together and said, this is $200, you're not going to buy it, are you? But what Trevor's done and what we've done is we put everything you need in the front end. So the whole method is there. And whether you like it or you don't like it, this is how this business works. So what we do is instead of you having to buy something in order to make that front end product work, that's, that's not the case. What we do is we add additional value. Okay, so this is value that can be added on to what you already have. So if all you want to buy is a $7 front end product, then that's fine. But, you know, I will say this is how this business works. If, you know, if it isn't for you, I completely understand that. But that's how this business works. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I mean, a funnel can be whatever you want, but providing it, it doesn't need to be there in order to make the um, the core product work, then it's fine. It's a legitimate upsell. It adds value. And customers can choose whether to purchase it or not. But the point here is this is where you make your money. So you as a product vendor make your money at these points here. Okay, so not on the front end, but on these points here. And I wanna take you back to a product that I actually partnered with in, when was that? That was last year, I think it was June last year, something like that, okay? Now this is um, the perfect uh, point in case really, because this, um, this product um, was actually launched under Artflow's account and it was called Flipme. You may remember it, but uh, it was, again, it was a $7 front end product. And we went on to sell with showing seven and a half thousand there is um it's more like eight and a half thousand products now so eight and a half thousand sales in total um and that equates to about one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars on a seven dollar front end using the funnel that i've just shown you in fact this is the flip me funnel that we used okay so we gave everything away there and then we made our money at these points here Okay, so just under 20 there, 37 there, and 47 there. And you can see that um, FlipMe, uh, there's a front end product sale, over 5,000 front end units. So although we didn't make any money on the front end of this product, we built um, a list of over 5,000 subscribers just from this one tiny little product. In fact, FlipMe actually became the biggest. Uh, not the biggest, actually, the second biggest um, seller on Warrior Plus of all time. So, you know, just goes to show that, you know, you, you can take a product, you, you could take a, um, a pimp product like Trevor's showing you what to do here, um, take it, turn it into value, and as long as you get a funnel right, you've built that leverage, then you can do something like this. I'm not saying you're going to start off and, you know, sell 8,000 units, but you can do it. Um, yeah, so this was taken a while ago, um, but you know, you can see seven and a half thousand there nearly, and you can see it's just over a hundred thousand dollars, so it's about a hundred and fifteen thousand dollars now. So, summary now, I actually um, made this slide a while ago, so it wasn't necessarily geared perfectly for Pimper, but the message is the same. So, find a product or find a PLR product, apply the method, get the results. Add your own tweaks. Now, again, if it's Pimper, then um, you're going to be you're going to be tweaking it. You're going to be expanding on it. But essentially, make it yours. Make it something of value. Build your profile on Facebook. So, eventually, you can apply leverage and then launch a low ticket product with a funnel, like I've just shown you. And if you're using leverage, then you can do this on a grand scale. And the result of this is you make thousands in days. And while you're doing so, you're also building hot buyers lists, which you can use over and over again. Now, is that clear to everybody? Um, you just want to sort of make sure I'm not um, getting carried away here and everybody's kind of with me. Great, Kevin. Okay, so what, what, what's the upsell here? <laughs> well, what we're doing here is we're, we're talking about what you can actually do with Pimper. 
Okay, so it doesn't have to be um, Pimper. You don't have to be using PLR. You can you can put your own products together. I'm just giving you the actual steps, the steps that I've used to build my business. And you can take this and use it in your business, or you can choose not to. I mean, it really depends on whether you want to actually build a sustainable business in the IM industry. Yes. Yeah. 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 And. You know, it, it's lead generation on the front end, and you make your money on the upsells. So, you know, that's kind of why you have the upsells. So cheap front end is perfect for launching um, Pint PLR. Um, the, the kind of um, products that Trevor's um, kind of explained, like he bought and like he sold, is, is kind of what Trevor did, and it's something that you can do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, so excited. Well, are you excited? No, okay, so hopefully I've, I've kind of explained this, but I, I, I'm, I'm guessing that it's kind of over a lot of people's heads because it's, um, it's, it's difficult to get your head around. I, I'll tell you a story. When I actually um, began in this business, when I explained to my wife what I was going to be doing, she said, you're absolutely mad. Nobody is going to buy that stuff online. And if they do, then they'll all refund. She said, it just cannot work. Stick to plumbing. But it was something that I really, really wanted to do. And Trevor, I, I think you're having the, um, the same conversation um, right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we'll get on to um, the results in a minute. But see, you can do all this yourself. So um, there's a couple of guys on here watching now. And I, I know that you can do this yourself. I've given you the, um, the tips. Um, essentially, it's, it's just about having that product. If you can get a small product together and you can get a funnel together, something of value, something that you know will resonate with people and people will actually want to buy. It's not hard to do. You know, you, you just got to scroll through, um, you know, popular listings on, say, JVZ or Warrior Plus, for example, to see what's selling. So you find a product, you put your own product together, or you tweak something that already exists, like, like from Pimper. You use leverage, so you build a profile, you use leverage, and then you can launch it. But like I say, you can do all of this yourself, or, wait for it, you can work with me. Now, you knew this was coming, but I'm going to explain it anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you about um, I Am Launch Academy, which is essentially where you get to work with me. So full members platform. <laughs> Kevin, you were waiting for this. Yeah, but like I say, look. You don't have to work with me. I've, I've given you the tips. Hopefully, I've, I've given you something that you can actually use. But anyway, let me go through this. So if you decide to work with me, now I've been in this business for um, for some time now, so I kind of know how it all works. I'm actually a long, launch consultant, and I've helped um, Trevor, as, as we're kind of going to talk about in a minute. And, you know, although um, we're kind of... Um, talking about pimp because this, this whole thing sort of ties together launching products um i'm launch academy is all about actually getting products to market so if you do join me then you'll know how to do every aspect of it the members area i'm just going to skim through the members area here because you know you can you can ask me about this in just a minute like i say members area so you get the full training you get a facebook group you get live weekly calls and am I qualified to teach? I've forgotten why I put on half of these slides to be honest. I'm not quite sure what's coming next, but yeah. I really am qualified to teach. So let me just show you some of my launches. Um, so these are my own launches. Um, so there's uh, nearly $68,000 there. Flip me, we've already talked about that. Um, you know, I mean, that, that sold over 8,000 units, made over 100,000, not 132,000 there. Another $132,000 there. Yeah, that is a different product. I had to check then. <laughs> $184,000 there. These are all my launches. Right now, you're watching this and you think, yeah, yeah, it's just pitching to me again. I knew it was going to end up with a pitch. Yeah, well, like I say, hopefully I've given you, um, I've given you something that you can actually take away and use yourself. I've, I've kind of shown you uh, three steps to this business model. You don't need me. You can go ahead and you can do this yourself. It's not going to cost you a ton of money. It's going to take you um, more time, time and effort, 
if you treat this as a real business, believe me, it's something that you can actually um, carry forward. A sustainable business, and it's a business that will make you an awful lot of money. Like I say, you've seen that, you know, since being a plumber, I've made over a million dollars doing this. And if you don't believe me, just ping me. I'll actually screen share with you. Okay? So if you do want to work with me, then let me just cover what you actually get. So bite-sized training. So everything is inside of the members area, weekly live training calls, cheat sheets, downloads, case studies, and yet yeah, we do really have case studies. You know, you know an awful lot of people tell you that they can do one thing when in actual fact they don't do it themselves. It always amazes me. You know, you see, you know, being in this business, I see people and they say like, you know, I can teach you how to do this. And then you think, well, when was the last time you launched? You know, how can you teach me how to launch if you don't actually do it yourself? The thing with this business is things change all the time. They're always changing. So unless you're actually in this market, then you really couldn't teach somebody how else how to launch. It, it just would be wrong. So you can rest assured that we actually know what we're doing and we are actively launching products in this space. So you get coaching from me. You get a Facebook accountability group. So basically, we just force you to be successful. So I'm bugging you all the time. I'm pushing you to actually get your product together. You get to be part of a team, and you actually get to launch a product if you want to. Can I help? No, I can't, I can't do anything in MLM. Sorry. Uh, this is all about the IM industry because... I only have contacts in the IM industry, so I'm able to leverage those contacts, um, but not in MLM. It's, it's not my thing, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Yeah, you know, if you want to, if you want to come on board, then you actually get to launch a product, and you also get traffic. So you'll get traffic, traction to whatever you do. <laughs> MLM, yeah, not everybody's keen on it, Ken. Um, it's not something that I'm into personally, but, you know, I know, you know, horses for courses, really. Some people are. But like I say, it's not something I can help with. So being part of IAM Launch Academy, you also get contacts. You also get introductions to high-profile marketers. Again, you know, this is um, touching on leverage. You get access to our launch team. So we have a team in place, as Trevor will um, talk to you about in just a second, that actually put this thing together for you. They don't put the product together but they actually orchestrate the launch for you. We cover the whole setup and the team, you know, they pretty much look after the whole lot. So again, you know, this is a pitch, but you know, you either want it or you don't want it. If you don't want it, perfectly fine. So does it work? And if it does, can I prove it? Well, <laughs> the best way of, um, of actually proving something um, works is, um, you know, maybe to have somebody on that I'm actually taught to do this and somebody that's been successful. So we're going to talk to Trevor. I'm going to do it live in a moment. But Trevor came to me. So you have Pimper. So you saw how he took a $5 product, he pimped it, he expanded on it, and he sold it. Uh, well, what was it, Trevor? 690 units, was it? And it was just, just under 9,000, 9, wasn't it? 9,000. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. yeah, okay, so roughly give or take, but, you know, around about 690 units and nearly $9,000. Now, I took the liberty of taking this yesterday, Trevor, hope you don't mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see here, yeah, so it's, it's actually higher than this now, but um, Trevor came to me and I worked with Trevor. So essentially, I taught him how to actually do this inside of IM Launch Academy. Right now, $600 would be great. <laughs> so Trevor has followed my advice, okay? And he's been able to launch his product, Launch Pimper, which again is a great product, but he's sold, but actually I think it's over 2,000 units now, and it's actually over $25,000. But you can see that in the space of two days, there's 23,255 dollars and 91 cents yes it, it does Kevin. it's awesome and it shows the possibilities 
and you should feel inspired because yeah i mean this was the perfect tie-in with pimper because you know it's, it's something that you, you you can take a product you can uh, flip it into something else and you can launch it trevor came to me he wanted to do this as big as he could and i explained exactly how to do it so i gave him everything that he needed in order to launch his product and this is a result so you know two days 23 grand and you can see that uh, pimper also became um deal of the day so uh, best product of the day some people call it product of the day but i think it's actually deal of the week as well now trevor isn't it there we go so last seven days you can see that uh Pimper is number one, so it's been the best seller for some time now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get um, Trevor on here now. Is that all right, Trevor? Can I do that? Um, if, if everybody, if you could bear with us a second. So I, I think it's really important that, um, you know, Trevor and I come on and you, and you can actually, well, well Trevor will actually uh, explain the kind of training that I've given him. I think that's the best way. Of actually getting this across because i know everybody tells you that they can do this and they can do that and you know to actually see a success story right here right now and kind of get it from the horse's mouth hey trevor how are you yeah hi mark you're right i'm good i'm good i hope you don't mind doing this uh, but you know for everybody watching it'd be great if you could kind of sum up the uh, the training that you've got from me and the the results that it's allowed you to achieve I mean, you know, it's, it's great for people to actually hear from somebody that's actually gone through the training. So, you know, over to you, yes. if you don't mind. Yes. No, absolutely. Absolutely, mate. Um, it's been, it's been, I, I guess, a life changing experience. Um, not that my life has changed completely, but you, I can see that the foundations have been laid um, for that. The, the launch has been a real eye opener. Um, the last time I checked, we had uh, we'd sold over 2,272 units and we've just gone through the $27,000 mark. Um, so, and that was just literally a few, a few minutes ago. So $20,000 of sales. I am now a top 5% affiliate, uh, sorry, top 5% vendor on Warrior Plus. I've got deal of the day and deal of the week, deal of the I week, do believe. Yeah. Um, so, and I, I didn't even realize you could get deal of the week until <laughs> I got it and you showed me. So, <laughs> yeah, it's um, it, it's an incredible experience, you know, to, it's, to go from earning some commissions, you know, that were nice to being in a position where I now know that I can make this a, a full-time living um, income and have everything at my fingertips to enable me to do that yeah um what <clears throat> what went into the launch was was unbelievable really yeah, um, I, mean, I didn't that's, that's an important point because you know people watching this now you know they're, they're probably thinking you know it's you know you come up with a product and then you launch it but the, in order to to pull off um, a launch a decent sized launch like we've just done with um with pimper there's an awful lot of elements that are kind of behind the scenes that people don't necessarily see. And, you know, it's like putting the jigsaws together. Don't you think, Trevor? I mean, you, you put all these little yeah. pieces together and then it just works. And if you miss one of those pieces out, you know, because you're not aware of it or for whatever other reason, then, you know, it doesn't tend to work as well. Yeah, well, I think the difference was, Mark, that my last launch was um, a 10-piece jigsaw puzzle, and this one was a 1,000-piece jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. Uh, and this one was one of those really complicated ones with all little faces and, like, a big crowd of people to try and make, uh, match up. Yeah. But, yeah, it's fascinating to see the amount of uh, attention to detail in the entire launch. And um, and now kind of like a, a template for me going forward yeah. um, for my, my future launches because yeah. I've got everything – Everything's been laid out in front of me. Yeah, um, you know, for when, me to when you do it again, then you'll know that you know this does this, and you know yeah. do this to achieve this. And you you've kind of learned the ropes on this launch, I, I think. And um, you know going yes. forward, you'll be able to do this yourself, so you'll know which elements you have to include in order to pull off a decent sized launch. Yeah, and you know, and I do intend to 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 use this as a template. Yeah. Um, I, I don't, I I don't think I can have achieve probably uh, twenty seven thousand dollars in in three days on my own. But um, I'm going to be launching probably smaller products, but using the same format that you guys have used. Yeah. So it's kind of like a, a step by step process, and I can just I can look at everything that we've done over the last 
week and then going back over the last few months where uh, since I've been in the, the coaching with you. Yeah. And that has all been a, a fantastic learning curve. And um, I can literally just take that now as the basis, the skeleton for my future launches going forward. Just just the way as I, I teach in Pimper, you know, it's a very similar concept yeah. rather than sitting there thinking what I do how on earth do I go to, you know, to, to get to a, a position where I can launch properly? Um, I've now that's been kind of laid out in front of me. I, I know exactly what to do for the future. So it's been a great experience with, with you guys and your team have been amazing. Um, and, uh, everyone's worked so hard, you know, it's, it, it's incredible, really the hours that, that they've put in, but at the end of it, look what we achieved. Yeah. It's yeah fantastic. Every bit. And, you know, it was an absolute Pleasure, Trevor. I mean, it was a great product. Um, we enjoyed uh, working throughout the whole process, getting that out there, you know, because, you know, providing quality is important to us as well. Um, but, you know, just the fact that we could, um, you know, work with a student and and get, you know, in, in this case, it's you, um, get you to, um, you know, the next level, really. And that's what yeah, my it, Launch Academy is all about. Yeah, and absolutely, that is that is what it is. You know, it's taking you to the next level. Um, it's raising profile, raising awareness, raising your brand, as well as everything else that goes with it. I mean, it's you know, obviously, it's nice to, to pull in the money for the launch, and it's um, it's great to have the the buyers list. But yeah, I you, mean, you, how, how big is your buyers list now? You know, for in a what's that three three four days? Um, so what is yeah, it, about fifteen hundred. 1500 fresh leads um so yeah i'm i'm ready to rock and roll on that one yeah um and, and that works hand in hand with having the, the profile and the branding because yeah. obviously the other jvs out there they know of me now and they, they know who trevor carr is and, and you know what i look like and what i do and what kind of products i i create but they also know that i've got a buyers list so there's going to be um plenty of activity in That's the right. internet marketing right. so i mean I'm, I'm sure everybody watching this now knows that you know it's important to have a buyer's list. And once you have a buyer's list, then obviously you can make money essentially whenever you want to. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, um, I think it's been referred to in some kind of uh, training that I've seen in the past that your laptop is like your ATM yeah. once you've got your buyer's list, because literally if you want to make money, you know, you, you send a broadcast and, and you'll, you'll make money. Yes. As long as you're sending the stuff, of course, and saying the right things and yes. everything else. But without that bias list, that would be an impossibility. Yes. And it really is, you know, I say as simple as that, but it is really as simple as that. I mean, there's no other way of uh, phrasing it, really. Like Trevor says, you know, you have that bias list. You can send out an email uh, whenever you like and you can make money pretty much by pushing a button. It's another one of those cliches, you know, push button income. But that's as close as it comes to push button income as far as i'm concerned having an email list having those subscribers there finding an offer that fits your subscriber list and then sending them yeah. an offer you know yeah that that is that is push button obviously you know as we know that there's work that goes into it yeah. before that but what, what i would say as well is that this hasn't been a complicated um uh, experience and it hasn't been um you know that difficult um for me and um Yes, you, you've got to put the hours in, but if this is something that you're committed to and you and you want to achieve the kind of results I've achieved, I'm sure that anyone uh, watching this out there now would, would love to think that they could bring in, you know, that kind of size um, of buyers list, etc., and 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 that and produce those kind of profits um, in a space of a few days. So on that basis, it's you know it's well worth putting that that effort in, yeah. um, but it's not been complicated, especially especially not with with Mark's training and his team. Yeah. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's a real business. So, you know, a lot of people sort of tinker around the edges and they see it as a, yeah. a bit of fun or a bit of extra income. And that's great. But, you know, if you really want to build a business in the I am space and launch products, build lists and make more and more money, then uh, I am Launch Academy is, um, well, I'm going to say it's a perfect option for you. I would say that, obviously. But, um, you know, I genuinely think it is the best training out there. Yeah, and, and also, Mark, I'd say that it's not just the training, is it? I mean, yes, you know, you, you're you're brilliant at what you do. Um, you are a, a bit of a hard taskmaster as well. You make sure that we do what we need to do. But there's a whole community kind of feel in the Facebook group where there's a lot of accountability and and there's a lot of kind of team feeling where everybody is pulling together. Everybody's working to... towards that end goal. So, you know, you, you'll find people inside the Facebook group, for example, everybody's in there um, 
pretty much everybody's talking to each other on a daily basis. You know, you go into some groups and nobody's saying anything and, you know, there's no real sort of daily content in there. With I Am Launch Academy, there's daily content in there. There's people um, working with each other. There's accountability groups. And like Travis just said, you know, it's like a community. So everybody's rooting for everybody else. Yeah. And I've had a lot of support, um, a lot of support from the guys in there. Really genuine support as well. They're, yeah. they're all absolutely over the moon to see the success of this launch, um, as I am, of course. But it's really nice to see the rest of them excited because they, they know that's what's coming for them as well. They, yeah. they, it's like a glimpse of the future for them. Yes. You know? Yes. And, you know, for anybody watching this, it can, you know, it can be exactly the same for you. Um, obviously, you really have to want this big time. You know, this isn't something that uh, you think, mm, you know, sounds like I might like to do it. I mean, this is a real business opportunity. Um, this is something you will have to work at. But if you want it, it's here. That's correct. Yeah, it, it is a real business opportunity. It is something you have to work at. Mm -hmm. And that is because it's it's a real business and that it can, it can produce the kind of income that will enable you, you to support yourself and your family. Um, and in my case, doing something that I absolutely love. Yeah. I can't think of a better way to earn money. Yeah, every bit. And, you know, for me, it definitely beats being a plumber, Trevor. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm financially secure now, which is fantastic, you know, no money worries. Um, and, you know, I've got a great business. I enjoy doing this. It's just, it's just fantastic for me. Um, you know, I, th I think it's going to be the same for you, Trevor. And uh, it can be for anybody that really wants to put the time in and actually, you know, sort of go with this business model. Something that anything and, and commuting is a lot easier, Mark. Commuting, from, yeah, well, I mean, um, I actually work from home, so I've got an office at home, but yeah, I mean, I get out of bed, I do have to walk downstairs to make my coffee, but then back upstairs and I'm at work. Well, I used to, um, the, the TV would be on in the morning, and every time I heard on the news about certain junctions on certain motorways, I think, oh, yeah, it could take me. Uh, to do what should be a 25 minute journey it, it often took me an hour an hour and a half or two hours yeah. to get to work yeah. and then the same back again yeah. um, whereas now what I do is walk down the stairs hear that on the TV and think you know what difference does it make it's uh, it, and it's it's saved a lot in, in petrol as well I've got to say <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and petrol's not cheap over here as uh, as we all know but anyway yeah. I thank you for that, Trevor, and um, you know I'm glad that we were able to actually get you to the next level, and uh, you had no. a successful launch. I, I, I'd like to thank you, Mark. Um, it's it's been a great experience; it really has. And uh, uh, the last few days have, have been obviously the highlight and very very uh, exciting. Right through, to, you know, it's been a well a whirlwind doesn't it from the point that we launched i mean my my phone was going absolutely but so uh, it was going so crazy with sales that i wanted to show somebody and in fact what i did was i recorded i got my i got the uh, phone and i was trying to kind of hold it up in front of the uh, the the webcam to show people how ferociously fast these sales were coming in <laughs> and to, <laughs> to the point that my, my wife said Trev, can't you turn that off? I said, no, I'm loving it. It's brilliant. It's ba-ding, 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 ba-ding. And then multiples, like, bah, 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 you know, as they were coming in. So, yeah, um, yeah uh, very, very exciting. Thanks for the opportunity and uh, giving me the leg up, you know, because I'm, I, I think I'm, I'm now on the map, so to speak. You are. And you're very <laughs> welcome, Trevor. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks for doing that. Cheers. No worries. Cheers, mate. Take care. Goodbye. Bye. Now, I'm sure you'll agree that proof doesn't come any better than from the mouth of an actual student. Trevor worked with me inside of I Am Launch Academy, and you can do the same. Trevor's managed to pull off a $27,000 launch. And if this is something that you want to do as well, then this is really where your dream begins. Now, if you're interested in working with me and going through the same process that Trevor went through, click the application link right under this video. Once you do that, somebody will get back to you. Now, I will say that this isn't free. Okay, so if you have no money to invest in your business, this isn't for you. I'm just being totally honest with you. You see, I have to invest an awful lot of my time into your projects. But if you're looking for a real business model, 
something that has the potential to change your life for the better, and I do mean that quite sincerely, then go ahead and click that link. And remember, anybody can do this. Trevor was a newbie when he began. I used to be a plumber. There are no boundaries. There's a ton of obstacles in your way, but no real boundaries. If you want to do this badly enough, then you can do. Okay, so this is a limited offer. We run it every now and again. If you fill out that application form today, somebody will get back to you either today or tomorrow. And if you fit that criteria, then we look forward to working with you. Thanks for watching.